this is in devotion. We wake up as hard as five. My father was a farmer, so I followed the suit. To start a dairy farming, start the way you can. You will grow. I have nine uh, big cows. I'm known as a brinda. Currently now I'm producing 100 liters per day. It is the only investment where you can harvest money three times, in the morning, afternoon, and in the evening. I do it as a business. I take my milk to Meru Central, Farmers Union. The organization is very smart. They pay, we don't know how they do it. This union and very many debts. Then I talked with Cooperative Bank. They could help me pay the farmers in good time and then I'm left selling milk and banking off. Through that, the morale went very high. We have been having machines here which I've learned for 30 years. Now they're obsolete. Cooperative Bank to replace all the machines, they give us a loan of about 200 million. This factory now is ended for very bright future because the machine is able to pack milk which can stay and refrigerate in the shelves for 30 days. It gives me an advantage to access markets which I could not reach before. Immediately, we get it right here. There will be a revolution in Meru. We are proud of the cooperative bank. We are proud of our Meru Central. Their working relationships has helped us. If I need some money with the bank, they don't need to ask me for the title. When I'm going to that bank, I tell my wife, I will borrow my cow some money today. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative bank. We are you. This is in devotion. We wake up as hard as five. To start a dairy farming, start the way you can. You will grow. Currently now I'm producing 100 editors per day. I do it as a business. I take my milk to Meru Central, Farmers Union. The organization is very smart. They pay. This union and very many debts. Then I talked with Cooperative Bank. They could help me pay the farmers in good time and then I'm left selling milk and banking all the money. Through that, the morale went very high. Cooperative Bank to replace all the machines, they give us a loan of about 200 million. It gives me an advantage to access markets which I could not reach before. We are proud of the cooperative bank. If I need some money with the bank, they don't need to ask me for the title. When I'm going to that bank, I tell my wife, I will borrow my cow some money today. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative Bank. We are you. Area he, I want to move to Lisha. Neno Lelen, I'm going to So Lelen is a is a new land. Okota Marakwet, watu amani kamili. We use the can to eat, but we are now using milk to penetrate and have money from Nairobi. Wa machine ndo ta Philip Lasiwa. Kasi kabisa ni mambia ufukaja mombe ya masiwa. Dream young ni ngombe, mbagi ufiki kiwangu ambaye ni prida. Kupikia mwaka wa ilufu mpili na nane, tuka ungana sisi pokota kenu na marakwa. Tuka amua tuchenge i project yetu ya masiwa, bae na italela na island days. Kupere tuba mwali lipa, yu kula yetu ndo atulipa ya kupere tuwa ngole mwole. Kwanza mchurusi ambaye na nuna masiwa, uwa anachelewa kwa pehime, lakini tuko na Uisha numema na watu wa kubreki pana. Uwa na lete overdraft. Tikitaka pesa yangu sahi na hendo. Nambia evo angalia kaunia yangu. Iyo kula, ime malisa iyo maambia shive, maambia shule. Sasa kuna flow ya transaction between lela. Kubreki pana na wakulima. Na kwa hivyo hakuna mwudu unajaribu hapa tena. Watu wameona umuimu ya unu ngombe kubitia biyashara. Na wamekundua kuna pesa ndani ya ngombe. Pula kupoteza ngombe. 
tumetoka mbali tutaenda mbali the cooperative bank we are you Eri hi kuna muda liisha Neno Lelen anakana ni injimbia so Lelen is a is a new land wa majina ni Dr. Philip Losiwa dream yangu ni ngombe mpaka ifiki kiwango ambaye ni breeder kupitia mwaka wa 2008 na nane tukaungana sisi tuko taken na marakwa tukaamua tuchenge hii project yetu ya masiwa na inaitalela na island days kubere tu bangali lipa hiyo kula yetu ndio tulipe kubere tu bangali bule hiyo kula imemaliza hiyo mambo ya shive mambo ya shule sasa kuna flow ya transaction between the land kubere tu bangali na kulima we use the can to eat but we are now using milk to penetrate and have money from Nairobi benki yako mashinani kwa kila county cooperative bank we are you Maji ni wai kwangu. Ningekuwa si maji. Singekuwa mahali niko. Maisha hapo mbele ilikuwa ngumu. This area does not have all that evidence. The rainfed crops are not all that good. In fact, before irrigation, we mean defended on reef food. Nilianza ukulima wa wa rainfed mpaka wakati nijiunga na na, na shemojogia. Kalenda yangu ya kupanda inatokana saa nyingine na, na ile mahitaji niko naye sasa kama kama saa hii napanda nkuashie ndio isimamie school fee ya ya december show mujogi started by the year 1975 and initially it started as a farrow irrigation in fact show mujogi drives its name from a waterfall and the word show mujogi means a noisy place by the year 1995 we decided to have the water piped we co-opted the minister of agriculture they brought in ifad International funding for agriculture development. Now the IFAN said that they'll give us only 20 million as a grant. And since the project cost 27 million, we end to look for the 7 million. Minister of Agriculture still introduced that to Minister of Cooperatives, and the cooperative bank said that in case we happen to register ourselves as a cooperative society, they'll give us a loan at a reduced interest. By the year 2005, September, we got the loan of 6.74 from the corporate bank which assisted us to do the infield works wakati wauna input ndio ndio shinda number 1 na wakati una maji ya kutosha initially when we started this project and we became linked to the cop bank we first got a farm input loan for 56 members who were interested they now became stable such that now they could be able to buy manures by themselves kutupatia tu input first thing ni input ndio tuliona loan ya tisio ati at, kitumbaya hapo ni sasa nipata pesa sasa tukatoa kwa loan sasa tuko, tuko independent sai sasa nja nja hiyo sio sio sinda we have started uh, the bossa back office saving activity we are able to give our members some loan for the farm inputs and for the school fees and other things that they need as members so the reefing students has also changed We have taken our children to boarding schools. We now have iron sheet houses, stone buildings, a number of us normally drive. So the stoto change after we got the irrigation water. Si mjoge iko mbere, na itaendelea mbere. Eh. Tukao tunashikana hivi na na cooperative bank na jua tuko mbere. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative bank. We are you. Hakuna mtu anaenda kufanya kitu akitarajia kuanguka. Na hakuna mtu anaweza kupenda maisha ya umaskini. 
sisi kama wakulima wa mbura ile kitu tunapanda kwa saa hii shambani tunapanda mahindi sehemu hii inaweza kulisha Kenya nzima na hata majirani pia watafaidika na mbura saa hii tunafanya kilimo biashara tukipanda tunafuna tunauza hii maji inatoka Mount Kenya inapitia Kindaruma huko mpaka inakuja ina form na hii mto wa Tana River na tunatumia pump tulianza tukiwa watu 127 na saa hii imefika 727 kama wewe ni mtumisi wa maji lazima uwe mshirika wa Water Users Association Water Users Association ni shirika ambalo lilikuja na aina hii committee yangu ikaamua kuwa lazima tuwe na society yetu kama sako ambayo inaweza kusaidia mkulima siku za baadaye tuko na agent ambao saa hii tunafanya banking ambao imetupunguzia shida zile ambazo zinatatiza sasa tulikuwa tunaenda Malindi na kutoka hapa mpaka Malindi ni shilingi 800 na kurudi 800. Tulipofungua agent walituletea wali mashini ile wanaita PS. Wakatuletea safe ambao tunahifadhi pesa. Mimi kama mkulima na hii bangi ifunguliwe hapa imenisaidia sana. Sababu ni nini? Saa hiyo mimi kama mkulima ukiwa una kakuku unauza ile kakuku yako naenda una save pesa yako. Ikifika wakati ule kuzuri unachukua unarudi unaingia shambani unafanya na sasa hakuna kwenda Ola hakuna kwenda Garissa hakuna kwenda Malindi unafanya pale pale ushirikiano ule nimeuona kwa cooperative bank pura itakuwa mbali sana sababu ilikubali kutuletea huduma kari kari siku za usoni watu watatamani bura kupitia kwa cooperative bank benki yako mashinani kwa kila county cooperative bank we are you All through my life I love the soil. I see soil as life. If there is canon, I believe this place is canon because we can grow everything. And today even if you want to do any farming you have to have manure and water throughout the year and we have only two rainy seasons you can't even do what to catch with the rain water the kroke kind started in 2005 as a self help group when we were starting this society we wanted to have irrigation water when the spirit studies were being carried This water was supposed to be for about uh, 300 households. Each household bring half an acre. They took the survey and they came up with the cost of about 36 million. We were unable to raise that money. We had to shop. We went to cooperative, we went to other places, but at least when you speak to people you know. You listen to your people and you know who can be able to assist you. The interest rates and other things that's how we arrived to cooperative bank so far so good because it was fantastic because they gave us two years grace those two years we have to grow the crops and sell so when we started the, the paying principal we had already something to, to sell and get money so uh, we are comfortable with the cooperative bank when you come together you have a bigger voice you can achieve something you couldn't achieve when you are being alone the lifestyle has gone up because the farmers those who have water they are better off than before they, they got the, the water i've been always saying when you get irrigation water i will go home i will live in Nairobi and that is what i did i came here because i know this is wonderful we are sleeping on a gold mine benki yako mashinani kwa kila county cooperative bank we are you
Mimi kasi yangu ni ya kurima mpunga hapa Moya. Nilianza mwaka wa 1968. Najifunia ukulima wa mpunga ni kilimo biashara. What we have in Moya is a gravity flow basin irrigation using furrows. Kwa ukulima ya mpunga ile matatizo ngumu sana. Kwanza ni ya maji. Initially the design within Moya irrigation scheme was just to cater for 1500 acres. Currently we have the same discharge in both rivers. There has not been improvement in terms of rainfall and the rest. Maji ambaye tunatumia inatoka mto Dhiba. Na ikitoka mto Dhiba kabla injafika Dhiba section inaingia Mwea section. So we had problems with the procurement of farm inputs, asset finance in terms of the farm machinery, also cash advances to our members. But Mzuri, so saati yetu tukawa na watu ambaye tunumewasagua, tuliwapea mbolo nipawa wakakopa, wakanunua matrakta kumi za kulima yu mashamba. That one with the help of Cobb Bank since 2004. We've had no problem for all those years in terms of servicing our members. Mwaka elfu mbili na kumi, tuluwapea mbaro ingpawa wakanunua fertilizer ya milioni la manini. Whereby we borrow, lend to our members, after they harvest, they deliver the produce to us as a society, we process, market, deduct our dues as a society, and then pay back to the members. Nikuwa uzingizini, nafurahia guzema mtoto hata kwa za zuri. Nafurahia sita lana njaha. Kwa hivyo cooperative bank, tunawuziano kubwa sana na awa. Cooperative bank na cooperative yetu, mshikane mbeza kwa mbeza. Kuzuni, tuzianguke. Banki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative bank, we are you. Mimi kasi yangu ni ya kurima mpunga. Ukulima wa mpunga ni kilimo biashara. Kwa ukulima ya mpunga ile matatizo ngumu sana. Kwanza ni ya maji. What we have in Moya is a gravity flow using furrows. Initially the design within Moya irrigation scheme was just to cater for 1500 acres. We had problems with the procurement of farm inputs, asset finance in terms of the farm machinery. Tuliwapea mbolo nipawa, wakanunua matrakta kumi za kulima hiyo mashamba. Mwaka elfu mbili na kumi, tuliwapea mbolo nipawa, wakanunua fertilizer ya milioni na manini. We borrow, lend to our members. After they harvest, they deliver the produce to us as a society. We process, market, and then pay back to the members. Nikuwa uzingizini, nafurahia kuzema mtoto hata kwa za zuri. Nafurahia sita lala njaha. Cooperative bank na cooperative yetu. Mushikane mbeza kwa mbeza. Kuzuni, suzi yanguke. Banki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative bank, we are you. This is a pride. Seeing milk going to the cooling plant. People delivering on foot, delivering on bicycles, delivering on motorbikes, on donkey carts, in the lorries and the pickups. It is so nice. It is a scene that anybody would like to see. Kulima wa ngombe ni faida tupu. Ni kama duka umefungua unauza vitu yako. Nyala Mot Purpose Cooperative Society was formed in the year 2002. We coined the name Nyala. Nya of Nyadarwa and the law of Raikipia. Currently we are collecting 60,000 liters of quality milk per day. We have to answer that we have to pay for the money. We have to pay for the money. 
kama vile nilianza na kilo tano na mimi ndio huwa napeleka 150 size napeleka hizi na kama wakati last year niliweza kuusa ngombe kama kumi kwa wiki moja niliusa ngombe kumi moja kwa 100,000 hadi 1 meter kwa wiki you come and see milk in donkey carts it does not belong to the owner of the donkey cart it belongs to many farmers who have put their milk together and employed that contracted one person to deliver it to Nyala tangu tuanze na nyara pesa huwa inakuja wa, kwa wakati na ukienda kwa bank kienda tu kwa account yako inakuta pesa zako siko the cooperative bank of kenya is our partner because we have been banking with them right from the word go when we are had up and they want an overdraft they give us on demand na mambo ya kupata pesa artist imekuwa mzuri ndio ukienda hapo hakuna kushida ati mashida ya kusema bora uende na kadi yako ya masiwa is clear that unity can create even big things it is many farmers who came together to form a bank so a bank that we call cooperative bank belongs to farmers when you wanted to extend our buildings in the cooling plant we had borrowed 8 million from them and our vision is to create a wealthy healthy farmer empowered technologically to compete with the other farmers nationally sa ngombe wa masiwa ni kama hiyo medo ambayo unawekwa kwa shigo unatebea ukiwa plant ni kuabua yule ni mkulima wa ndeire nayo medo ya mkulima ni ngombe benki yako mashinani kwa kila county cooperative bank we are you This is a pride seeing milk going to the cooling plant people delivering on foot delivering on bicycles delivering on motorbikes it is so nice it is a scene that anybody would like to see kulima wa ngombe ni faida tu kama wakati last year niliweza kuusa ngombe kama 10 moja kwa 100,000 hadi 1 meter kwa wiki nyala mot purpose was formed in the year 2002 currently we are collecting 60,000 liters of cooled milk per day tangu tuanze na nyara pesa huwa inakuja kwa wakati na ukienda kwa bank inakuta pesa zako siko the corporate bank of kenya is our partner when you wanted to extend our buildings in the cooling plant we had borrowed 8 million when we are had up and we want an overdraft they give us on demand and our vision is to create a wealthy healthy farmer empowered technologically to compete with the other farmers nationally benki yako mashinani kwa kila county cooperative bank we are you Tanjina is a local name of Tany. Tany is a cow. Kina is a teat you milk. This is it. The biggest challenge for a farmer around here is feed. You have to know first what type of feed you need and how much a cow needs to sustain and be able to give you the production. Tulikuwa na shita nyingi sana. Tulikuwa sangine tunakosa pesa kwa naweza kata siku 4 siku 5 ama 6 bila kuwa na pesa then after starting getting the milk it wasn't easy fortunately we got the dangina cooling plant accepting milk our coolers the ones that you use to receive milk uh, cooperative bank finance those coolers as the dairy we realized that uh, at one time we had about 4000 farmers traveling all the way to Eldoret to seek for financial services we need loans which is channeled to the farmer we have business going on smoothly we are paying our farmers 
in a good time because of the cooperative bank. Nimeenda hata kwa bank na patiwa pesa mingi kwa chili ya statement ya maziwa ya. Coming together has been able to change the lives of our people from this level to this level. Nikiona ngombe ni kusema gara hii tuyo. Huyo ni ngombe yangu ambaye nilipata kwa maziwa ya. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative Bank. We are you. In a life, I've never been a failure in whatever I start to do. And I don't believe I can be a failure in becoming the best dairy animal farmer. Gala Dairy, without the word new, started by 1986. The year 2011, we got membership, but we did not get milk. We gave our priority that we don't have good animals. New Yala Dairy, they brought in a project that was uh, giving out animals to farmers. I registered with them and I was given the last animal, which I bought at 100,000. The cow loan was a very bright idea. We have seen those who have taken it, the way they are performing, they have increased the production. Because it is a loan, you must work hard, it brings you closer to the farm. The farmers had to apply. For one animal, you must have one acre of napier grass. The loan had to be given through an organized manner and then the payment had to be done in the same manner. So I mobilized my people, we contributed money, and all of us went out scouting. We identified some animals from Kapsabet. So we came back happy people. Now we told the bank, here we are. We have identified these animals. These are the photos, these are the new invoices. Can you now go ahead and process for us the funds? They believe the cooperating bank is a circle of supporting bank, and that was the, the only way they could do that. Because we united and we agreed, it has been very successful. Part of our milk is being taken to Murmalanga, and Murmalanga is paying us cash. So you find that the milk that I take today, I'll get cash tomorrow. The cooperative bank is becoming a village bank. You can see, Yala, we have one. So it means if this farm is improving, it means members can access whatever they want from a closer range. After a period of time, you will not see anybody from Nyanza moving out to look for those animals. We'll buy it within ourselves. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative Bank. We are you. In a life, I've never been a failure in whatever I start to do. And I don't believe I can be a failure in becoming the best dairy animal farmer. Gala Dairy was started by 1986. We gave our priority that we don't have good animals. They brought in a project that was uh, giving out animals to farmers. So I mobilized my people. We identified some animals from Kapsabet. Now we told the bank, can you now go ahead and process for us the funds? The cow loan was a very bright idea. We have seen those who have taken it, they have increased the production. Because we united and we agreed, it has been very successful. Part of our milk is being taken to Murmalanga, and Murmalanga is paying us cash. The cooperative bank is becoming a village bank. It means members can access whatever they want from a closer range. After a period of time, you will not see anybody from Nyanza moving out to look for those animals. We'll buy it within ourselves. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative Bank. We are you. Coffee is one of the most important commodities in this country. Since independence, from around 1990, that is when we started seeing challenges in the sector. That is around the same time when the coffee industry was liberalized. Before then, Coffee Board of Kenya was the main marketing body for coffee in Kenya. With liberalization, we thought uh, the competition would bring in better money. But unfortunately, the farmers became poorer. The production started going down. 
the cost of production also became very high and the big question was what happened I started uh, dealing with the coffee when the coffee payments were very poor I had a family of eight daughters who were under my care I needed money to educate my children there was no other way I could get money apart from uh, coffee farming and by then the, the, the payments of coffee were very poor we were getting a chilling 70 cents 90 cents and uh, I had to proceed with that type of uh, hardships the life is not all that fair because like there before some years back we could get very little from the coffee and we expected to get, like me, I expected to get everything from the coffee. So I had it very hard when I got, when the pays were, were poor. It was very hard for me to, to make all this, but I didn't give up. Hii biashara ni biashara ya kubatisha. Uwezi kujua kama soko itakuwa na mnagani. 1998, 1999, the, the coffee year, we had a lot of coffee. That is, by then I had picked over 6,650 kilograms. That is the year that coffee politics was on the top. The marketers and the millers intervened with the small scale farmers. So they brought that confusion to the farmers promising them uh, a lot of money where this money was in the air. Mkulima bei yake ni wananunua rais sana na ni gunia. Sasa mkulima pia anashindwa na kunywa hata ile kamkebe kale kadogo kanesikefu. Anashindwa. Ana anawacha. Na yeye ndiye mkulima. Kulingana na chenye mtu alikuwa anapata patilo, unapata kilo akawa inatoka shilingi na shilingi mbili sasa hiyo na inaitwa cash crops. Unaona ni shida. Out of my 6,650 kilograms, I managed to receive only 40,000. So the 40,000, I had two daughters, and I, all that money, me and my wife, we paid to the school. So we never even bought even had a chief. There are some things I cannot do, like pruning the coffee. So I had to take someone to prune for me, and that I, I must lose money to give someone to, pro, to do the pruning for, for me. So say, nakuwa kuna njiandefu sana ya kahawa. Ndiyo mkuli maja fikiwe na pesa. Sasa ina, inakuja ikija unasikia imilipa kiasi hii. Wewe wezi kukataa manake tayari wewe huku wepo huku kwenye kuhuzwa. Walio uza ni wengine. Walio peleka ni wengine. Sasa hapa katikati wezi kujua nani ambaye alihusika. So what the commercial millers were doing, they were getting our coffee. When they get our coffee, because it's one of the best. And then we have the estate farmers, who also produce quite a lot of the coffee. There was, it was a lot of double dealing. They take our coffee, they exchange with it, the estate farmers' coffee. So our grade in our coffee is put in the, in the last grade. The prices of coffee were depressed and unfortunately at one point Cooperative Bank of Kenya which was started by coffee uh, farmers in 1965 they wanted to go for listing and they started selling shares and uh, when they went to coffee cooperative societies to tell them to buy shares the farmers didn't have money. We back in the year 2009 uh, we were invited, I was one of them, those people who were invited by the then Minister for Cooperative, Cooperative Development and Marketing, Honorable John Yaga, to his uh, boardroom. Uh, he talked about coffee, coffee marketing, and uh, we found Dr. Muriuk there with the um, CEO, Cooperative Bank of Kenya. Uh, later, we realized that uh, they, were talk, they wanted to talk, us to talk about marketing. About five cooperative societies in Kenya had been given marketing licenses. And uh, surprisingly, uh, we were not able to, to, use, to utilize them. 
KCCE was actually formed or started by farmers themselves and they were in dire need of uh, an organization that could market their coffee and uh, at least pay the farmers something. The small school farmers will never benefit unless they form their own cooperatives and uh, they take control of their coffee. By taking control of their coffee, we agree that we form a national cooperative uh, organization purposely for marketing. When KCC came into the, into the industry in 2009, the organization found farmers who were completely disenchanted with what was going on. They had given up. Previously, the farmers were only producing coffee. Once they produce the coffee and they take to the factory and they process, that is primary processing, they hand over to somebody else to do it on their behalf. Meaning they've already surrendered their rights because what happens with that coffee thereafter, they just sit back and wait for the money. The security and everything required, these farmers didn't have. The cooperative bank gave us one billion bank guarantee which was a requirement by the Kofi Board of Kenya for last to be registered. They gave us staff, including the CEO, um, who is uh, still in the pillar of the Cooperative Bank. And in addition to that, gave them five key staff who are seconded from the bank to come and help start KCCE. The philosophy of KCCE is to shorten the coffee value chain. Our Kenyan coffee chain is uh, characterized by, by very many intermediaries. And as coffee moves from one intermediary to another, you know, they, they get a little bit of the value. So at the end of the day, the farmer ends up with the short end of the stick. At KCCE, we have chosen to work with the farmers all the way from the farms to ensure that the coffee they are producing is of good quality and uh, which we are able to determine when we do the analysis at the lab. In our core values, we stand for integrity. We don't want to get involved in uh, unethical behavior in the marketplace. We want to play fair. We tell the farmers the truth. We are, we are committed. We stand on our word. We want to be held accountable for the things we do and things that we don't do. When a grower delivers their coffee to the mill, that's where identification of coffee is done in terms of a very unique number, as you have an ID number or a PIN, coffee is also issued a very unique number. And uh, it's normally called an outer number in the coffee industry in Kenya. And uh, once that number has been given to a certain batch, delivered in a certain date into a meal, it's labeled all along the chain until it leaves that door of the warehouse. Now for the buyers who may be looking for very unique coffees, coffees with very good attributes that you'd not get in just ordinary coffee, if they come and uh, work with us, we are able to link such coffees to them. And they would be able to have access to single origin specialty coffees, which we already have identified when we are doing the analysis in our laboratory. As an organization, we would like everybody to produce coffee that is the same, everybody to engage in, 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 in similar practices. Uh, but to overcome those challenges, as I said, this department does capacity building. So we have programs, training programs, where we impart skills, good agricultural practices to the farmers. We hold uh, training sessions at farm level. What I can assure every buyer is about quality. Quality in the quantity. If, for example, the buyer through our linkages happens to get to know a certain grower and get to like their coffees, we can assure the buyer, the international market, that what comes from the grower is exactly what will pass through our warehouses, through our logistics, into their receiving end, into their ports of destination. There are several certifications uh, in place 
along the coffee, coffee value chains uh, here in Kenya. Two of them being Fair Trade Organization and Woods Cafe. The importance of the certifications is that they help the farmers to have good practices when they are growing their coffee, ensuring that they are producing ethical coffees which have a market in the international market. For example, not using child labor and also paying their workers wages that meet the minimums that have been set in the country. Our vision was first of all to make sure that uh, the farmer is empowered, he participates in the entire value chain, improves on his livelihood, and uh, also to make sure that uh, our coffee goes back to number one for an exchange earner. It was the year 2011, it is when our pay came, it came very well in fact, and I was able to pay school fees for my daughter here, I was able to buy the zero grazing goods you can see there, and uh, that's where I get the manure to put to the coffee from. So that pay was good for me. I did a lot and other outsourcing. Here you see, to live on what kawa, is a kaja nzuri. Nidi pata zaidi ya shilingi ya fumi ya tatu. Pesa ambazo, uwezi kupata hivi hivi yuku. Hapo nilianza kuona, ninaanza kupiki vizuri. Dio ni kanunua mabati, ya hii nyomba munaona. Payments have risen. Two, there is that interaction of the, the marketer interacting with the farmers. That is one very good factor. Explaining the farmer, this is how your coffee is, this coffee of yours has fetched this money, you get this money. So that one has also given the morale to the small scale farmers. We have created employment after we bought this machine. Uh, and uh, sometimes you might find 150 women per day and we pay them on a daily basis, meaning 150 families benefit from this per day. Another thing that KCC has done for us, uh, you know knowledge is power. The biggest part where they have helped us much is giving us the knowledge. They have organized trips for us. We have gone to places where copy is grown. We have seen how other people do it. We have got the knowledge, we know how to improve what we have. And uh, actually, the knowledge is the biggest thing. The extension officers or the field officers, they, they, they normally visit the farmers. When they visit the management, they also visit the farmers. And that also gives us hope that we are now dealing with the right person. It's a two-way traffic. I am giving him, he is also giving me back something. But the payments have really improved. On 2010, when they, we started with the KCC, we had a production in the whole society of a three million. The highest payment which was received through KCC was 97 shillings per kg. From that time, we started Liu farming. We are very happy to see that uh, the income, especially in 2011, moved from 6 billion the previous year to 22 billion. That to us, even at a national level, irrespective, we have only handled about 15% of the total production. But still the income, whatever money that was generated by coffee was good. But the most memorable time is when we paid the farmers and they were so, so happy. 2010-2011 was a very, very optimistic time for coffee farmers. They, they were able to earn what we believe is a fair return for their coffee. And they were encouraged to invest in coffee farming. They went out, they looked for seedlings, they looked for loans to buy inputs. They got out, went back to the farms to prune their coffee so that they can improve their, their income. We are asking everybody who appreciates a good car, when you pay, remember, you are supporting a farmer.
to keep on producing that cup so that you can enjoy. So to our buyers, give our farmers value and you will never miss a good cup of coffee for as long as you need it. My full names are Benson Kariu Kindegwa. I'm a member of Odaya Farmers Cooperative Society and I joined farming, that is back in 1993. Then there came uh, ragos of uh, coffee management, coffee marketing, so the, the, the coffee industry collapsed. We didn't have control of our coffee. We used to have very high meeting losses. You didn't know when coffee was going to be marketed. Only what we did was to wait and wait until the, the marketer or the mirror uh, brought money to you. And by then, the, the, the payments of coffee were very poor. We were getting a chilling 70 cents, 90 cents. So the new management started uh, making good relationship with the people like Corporate Bank. So when the Corporate Bank opened, they, they, they did quite a lot to make sure that we bring back the old coffee farming of 1980s back to normal. We agreed that um, the small school farmers will never benefit unless they form their own cooperatives and uh, they take control of their coffee. And that's why when you came up with the name KCC, Kenya Cooperative Coffee Exporters Limited, purposely for marketing. Now the KCC is doing a very good job. Payments have risen. Two, there is that interaction of the, the marketer interacting with the farmers. The, the cooperative bank gave us a 1 billion bank guarantee, which was a requirement by the Coffee Board of Kenya for us to be registered. They gave us staff, including the CEO. They gave us uh, working capital because we didn't have money. They were given uh, an office. We started getting the farm input. We started getting the, 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 the education seminars. We started getting the agriculture extension officers in the farms. And uh, the cooperative bank is a brother of the primary societies. Because in two years back, Odaya Farmers Cooperative Society managed to have its own meal. And we have seen the, the benefits out of Odaya Farmers Cooperative Society milling its own coffee and taking it direct to the market. Before we start the KCC, farmers were getting as low as 10 shillings, 15 shillings, up a maximum of 20 shillings. Today, the rates are from uh, uh, 40 shillings up to 50, 60, 70, up to 80. Here, there is no middleman. It is our management. The middle is ours. The next person is the KCC. Cooperative Bank was started in the 1960s. Today, is a giant bank in Kenya. If the cooperators who are there stood in the video and decided to start their own bank, they would not be where they are. If we were the cooperatives way, I think you'd also go the economy, you'd go the individuals and the community at large. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative Bank. We are you. This Belegui Farmers Cooperative Society was formed back in 1953, whereby there were no other cooperatives within the area. A small-scale farmer of Belegui lives a medium life 
they are hardworking farmers because they have no otherwise here. In Kibelegwe, we don't grow maize, we normally grow coffee. Mimi jina langu ni Solomon Kariuki na ni mkulima wa kahawa, mkulima mdogo wa Kibelegwe farmers. Nilianza kupanda kahawa 1962 nikiwa kijana. Hii biashara ni biashara ya kubahatisha. Uwezi kujua kama soko itakuwa namna gani. Mkulima bei yake ni wananunua rais sana na ni gunia. Sasa mkulima pia anashindwa na kunywa hata ile kamkebe kale kadogo kanesikefu. Anashindwa. Ana anawacha. Na yeye ndiye mkulima. We were roasting a lot of coffee through other commercial millers, commercial marketers do the milling loss. Sasa inakuwa kuna njia ndefu sana ya kahawa ndio mkulima hajafikiwa na pesa sasa ina, inakuja ikija unasikia imelipa kiasi hii wewe uwezi kukataa manake tayari wewe hukuwepo huko kwenye kuuzwa waliouza ni wengine waliopeleka ni wengine sasa hapa katikati uwezi kujua ni nani ambaye alihusika the philosophy of KCC is to shorten the coffee value chain our Kenyan coffee chain is uh, characterized by, by very many intermediaries. And as coffee moves from one intermediary to another, you know, they, they get a little bit of the value. So at the end of the day, the farmer ends up with the short end of the stick. KICC, tulipo wapatia kahawa, pesa ikaja vizuri. Nidi pata zaidi ya shilingi ya fumi ya tatu. Pesa ambazo, uwezi kupata hivi hivi huku hapo nilianza kuona ninaanza kupiki vizuri ndio nikanunua mabati ya hii nyumba mnaona by the word go the KCC had no money the cooperative bank gave them 1 billion as a guarantee the cooperative bank belongs to the cooperative movement and uh, the coffee farmers are the ones who formed this bank it understands the cooperatives. So this is the right place where the cooperative movement should be. This is the right place where farmers should be. Without that kind of financing, which is tailored to the seasons and the coffee marketing uh, cycles, I don't think uh, the farmers will be able to stand. Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative Bank. We are you. Tendeliani was formed way back when I was actually a small person. Because it started as a society way back in 1958. The people who bring coffee here, they are just very normal farmers, simple farmers. My names are Catherine Kate. I'm also a local farmer and uh, I deal also with coffee in the Tendeliani FCS. The life it's not all that fair because like there before some years back we could get very little from the coffee and we expected to get like me I expected to get everything from the coffee so I had it very hard when I got when the pays were were poor what used to happen is after they collect coffee from here we used to wait for money we had no powers to know how our coffee has been, what the man offered to our coffee. Kulingana na chenye mtu alikuwa napata patilo, napata kilo wakawa, inatoka shilingine, shilingine, sasa hiyo, na inaitwa kashi crops, inaona mshida. But when KCC joined us, we saw a very a big change. We even compared what we were getting from KCC with what other societies around us were getting. KCC was actually formed or started by farmers themselves and they were in dire need of uh, an organization that could market their coffee. When KCC came in, they behaved different. They wanted a lot of transparency. Whatever they do, they involve us. They, they show us what they are doing. After they take our coffee, we know our coffee 
all the stages, the way they move. Cooperative Bank of Kenya, which was started by coffee uh, farmers in 1965, came through for them. Uh, the bank agreed to give them a one billion guarantee in favor of Coffee Board of Kenya. They also needed working capital. When we, we are in need of some finances, we go to the cooperative bank. They assist us with the, with the loans. And the loans they give us, they give us the loans at a very good interest rate. Maisha mebandika sana kwa vile kuungana na iki kikundi the KCCE wametuletea kwanza elimu. Hata nimeanza kubuna zaidi kuliko there before. Kwa vile nimejaribu kufuata ili elimu wametupa. Nime, wametulipa vizuri at least tumeweza kuninua vitalizers, manua for the coffee. Ivo sasa tukombele. <laughs> Benki yako mashinani kwa kila county. Cooperative Bank. We are you.